I'm here with Father Dave Kramer of St. Eulalia's Church in Roaring Brook Township. Mm -hmm. And we're very excited to be here because you're going to cook up something for us. And, and we're going to talk a little bit afterwards about the reason why we're here. But right now, let's get started cooking. All okay. right, what are we making, Father? Well, this is going to be Slumgullion stew, yes. and it's inspired by the movie It Happened on Fifth Avenue, a Christmas movie. It takes place right after the Second World War, mm -hmm. when some of the guys are coming home and they're looking for housing and things like that, and they're all living together, and this is one of the meals that they shared. And we're gonna start with heating up some oil. This is 100% olive oil. And our first ingredient to go with is gonna be our onion. So we have one onion, all right. uh, kind of diced up. And the beauty of this is it seems like you could add all kinds of ingredients, right? Oh yeah, there's probably not really any limit to what you could put in. So if you like scallions, you could have some of those in there. Some garlic could go in. Nice. Um, if you have other favorite vegetables, that could be part of it. All so right. we have here one pound of diced beef. Break this up a little bit. And what do you have then on like a medium or a high heat? Right now it's just on a medium. So I don't want to get it too hot. And eventually it's going to go into the pot with some broth, beef broth, and some of our other ingredients. Well, it looks like our beef and our onions are Ready to go into the and it smells good pot, too. <laughs> the stew pot here. Yeah, we want to just get that in there. And we're going to okay. add our uh, beef broth. And then just before we start adding some other ingredients, we're going to put our elbow, one pound of elbow macaroni into Excellent. the pot here. So it's not very hard to do. No, it's great. And I feel yep. like, you know, if, if you want to use different types of pasta, you can do that too. Mm -hmm. Whatever you have in the cabinet. Yeah. Yeah, sort of that's sort of part of the original idea. Whatever you have can go into this Lumgullion stew. I like it. Ready? And that's going to boil for about eight minutes. Okay, sounds good. See, I would normally add salt to the water for the pasta, but yeah. since there's a good amount of salt already in this stew, we won't do that. But if someone prefers, they could still do that. Okay. Or maybe a little bit of oil that can keep it from sticking, sticking. together. Right. So why don't we put some of our ingredients into the pot? So All right. we have about 10 baby carrots cut up. Okay. And then we have two potatoes. And they're That's all kind of diced up a little, yep. right? You could go with that. So we have also a one can of diced tomatoes. That'll give it a nice flavor. One can of corn. Whole corn. Corn, of corn. All right. And oddly enough, here we are in the north with black eyed peas. Mm, okay. So those Sounds are ready good. to go in. Let's give it, make it a little interesting. Yeah. Okay, so we have this on medium heat. You can let that go until everything gets cooked through so the potatoes don't come out hard or that kind right, of thing. Right, yeah. sure. So after a, a two hours of cooking on a stove top, it'll be time to add the noodles. We're just gonna spoon some of those in and then we're gonna add some Italian seasoning. And there we have it, Slum Gully and Stew. Well, Father, thank you so much for showing us how to make the Slum Gullion Stew. And I wanted to talk a little bit about the parish because the reason why we're here is that there's a meal that's offered every week, right? Can you mm -hmm. tell us about it? Sure, Jackie. We partner with St. Francis Kitchen and St. Francis cooks the meals. Until every Tuesday, we have a free, hot, nutritious meal for anyone in the area who just could use a little help with their food budget or maybe somebody just We'd like to have some company once a week coming out for lunch. It starts at 12, ends at 12.30, so it's not a very long right. day, but I'm usually there. I share the meal. It's all uh, very good. Yeah. And the second Tuesday of the month, we have the free clothing store that comes. I think it's a great idea, and I know that people really, really love it and enjoy it. Well, thank you so much. We enjoy doing it. We have a web page, uh, social media. Just look up St. Elias Church. You can watch our Mass online. Uh, we're here in Roaring Brook Township, 214 Blue Shutters Road. So if you know where the Blue Shutters restaurant is, we're just up the road from that. Right. And um, the, it's served, the meal is served in the church hall. Yes. Right. Yep. Great. Yeah. And we have some greeters at the door. So if you can't find the way, they'll show you, they'll greet you and bring you in. Sounds good. Well, Father, thanks again. Uh, we really appreciate it. And thanks Thank for cooking this for us. Let's give it a try. It looks terrific. Mmm, -hmm. that's good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Well, thanks again, Father. We appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks for coming, Jackie.